Now in Reaper 7, they added two new toolbar buttons. Right over here, the first one will allow us to marquee select our items using left drag. Like this. Then we can deselect this and move our items or delete them or cut them and paste them as we want. Or we could hit this button and it changes to raise Reddit. So we can create raised reddits using left drag, which selects an area within our items, which we could delete, cut, or paste, again, at will. And then turn it off when we're done. But you should know, we don't need to use these buttons. If we're okay with right dragging, we could right drag in our range view, and that's gonna marquee select our items the same way. And for razor editing, we could add in a modifier. Alt on the PC, option on the Mac, and right drag, and that creates a razor edit. And we could also switch out or swap which one of these two options uses that modifier. So if we go to our preferences, control P on the PC, command comma on the Mac, that opens up our preferences, and go down here to mouse modifiers under a range view. By default, right dragging is going to marquee select our items. And holding down Alt on the PC, option on the Mac, is going to raise or edit our items. We can reverse that or swap it right down here. Now by default, right dragging creates a raise or edit, and holding down the modifier, marquee selects our items. But if you find right dragging a bit too awkward, or you just prefer to left drag, we could use these two tools. But there's one problem with them, at least for me. After you choose them and use them, you have to unchoose them to go back to Reaper's default behavior. You have to choose it, select their items, then go back over here and unchoose it, and then go back to editing. And the same with Razor Editing. We could choose it, create a Razor Edit, and go back here to turn this off when we're done. Unless we change how these buttons behave. If we right click, go to Customize Toolbar, right down here, we could see these two toolbar buttons. We need to change what they do. Let's go back to our preferences under a range view. And if we switch it to a range view over right A, this is what happens when we hit this toolbar button. It switches it to marquee select our items. And when we unselect it, it goes back to the range view. And if we hit the Razor Edit button, it's going to switch it to a range view override B, which creates Razor Edits. So let's change how those actions are switched. Right in here, we'll go to Marquee Selection, right click, and change this action. We'll type into the filter in our actions a range override. And this is what's happening when we hit that first toolbar button, it toggles the range view to override A. Or if we choose the second one, it toggles it to override B. But we could also choose these options up here, which will switch it to override A, but only until the next mouse up. And we do the same with this one. Switch it to override B, but only until the next mouse up. So it'll basically create a temporary use or a single use for that tool, and then turn it off right after. So let's choose this option, double click, for this one, and this option for this one. But notice it changes our toolbar buttons. So let's right click and change it back to this, and right click this one and change it back to this. So now they look the same, but they'll behave differently. Let's save it. And now, if we choose this option, we can marquee select our items. But as soon as we let go, it comes out of that mode. So now we can move these items around. We can delete them or cut them and paste them as you want. And do the same with a razor edit. Choose it, create a razor edit. As soon as we let go, it comes out of that mode. So now we're no longer in razor edit mode. So it's basically creating a single use for choosing these toolbar buttons. 
Just choose it, marquee select our items, and the tool is turned off. Hit the Razor Edit button, create a Razor Edit, and that tool is turned off. So it's a single use version for those two tools. But we could do the same thing with Marquee Zoom. Just add another button to these. Let's right click, go to Customize Toolbar, and underneath this, let's add another action. But this time we'll choose Arrange View Override for D. And again, choose until next mouse up. Double click this. Let's give this a toolbar button. I'm going to choose this one right here and save it. But now we have to go back to the mouse modifiers and go to the section Override D, as this one isn't really being used. And we'll change the default action or behavior to Marquee Zoom. And now hit OK. And we added a toolbar button that's going to marquee zoom when we use it. So it basically switches to a range view override D. This one's A, and this one's B, and this one's D. So now we can choose this. Again, see a toolbar is animated, letting us know it's on. Then we go over here and marquee zoom an area, and it zooms in to exactly that area. And again, it turns off this option as we made it single use. So we can use this tool to marquee select our items like this. It turns off after we're done. Or we'll razor edit with this tool, which again turns off after we're done. And now finally, we could use marquee zoom to select any area of our items like this one. It zooms in as close as possible and turns off that tool. So we're ready to edit right away. So that's pretty much it. That's the single use and marquee zoom toolbar buttons in Reaper 7. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Bingo, boys, let's go.